just to ask what are, what are your concerns about the future legitimacy of the court? What can Chief Justice Roberts do? And if Judge Kavanaugh is confirmed, some Democrats are talking about impeaching him in the House or packing the size of the Supreme Court, increasing it to 13 justices, as was done in 1800 and during the Civil War. What would you say to those Democrats about the effect of that on the future legitimacy of the rule of law? Well, stuff, I mean, that was just, Chris just gave a tutorial on, on what, and don't expect me to weave in steamy jambalaya <laughs> um, into any political discussion. It's it incredible. But, uh, but um, I, when I walked into that room um, on Friday and saw the food fight that was going on uh, between our parties, just split on the dais, uh, Democrats threatening to walk out and not even vote in the final vote, um, just going back and forth, just this vitriol. Um, that's when, when uh, I sat there and then it came to Chris and Chris gave a very sober, rational um, speech about you know how we could move forward. And I thought that's what we've got to do because uh, the the Supreme Court is still the last bastion of <laughs> the last you know institution that most Americans have faith in. And as as uh, Chris mentioned. Uh, uh, that's how it has worked for us to cede so much authority <laughs> and give so much power to the Supreme Court because people still have faith. If that faith is gone, then heaven help us. And so it is a concern. I was, I was very troubled by the, the tone uh, of, the, uh, of the remarks. Uh, the initial uh, defense that uh, that Judge uh, um, Kavanaugh gave uh, w was something like I, I told my wife, I hope that I would sound that indignant if I were, uh, if I felt that I was unjustly, you know, maligned. But then it went on and the interaction with the members was sharp and partisan and that concerns me. And I tell myself, you give a little leeway because of what he's been through. But on the other hand, we can't, have this on the court. We, we simply can't. And, uh, you know, it, it talk of impeachment or stacking the court, it's just, it's going the wrong direction. And, uh, I mean, this dysfunction has many fathers. We can go back to, you know, statements made in the 1980s with Bork or Clarence Thomas hearings or uh, you name it, you, you can find a villain uh, anywhere back there. The truth is both parties have engaged in it. And, and have made the situation worse. And uh, we, we simply have to uh, elevate people to leadership positions and elect people who see it differently and understand the value and, uh, and purpose of the Supreme, Supreme Court. That, um, I do worry this, this red and blue jerseys uh, um, referring to be each other or these justices by who nominated them. Uh, it just, uh, it can't go on.